fades out nicely. Welcome to Praise the Lord, <clears throat> the show that basically just goes through social media and talks about the United Church of Bacon. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, we're actually going to go through how you could become um, an officiant, do weddings. I'm going to list. I'm going to show you a list of some of the officiants. I'm lying. I'm not going to show you how to become one. That's your problem. But I'll I'll give you some names, a little history of the church. Uh, just so you know, we are a production of what is called the Podcast Producers Guild, which we just wrapped up uh, the season finale of the Johnny Brew Show, where we review beers. So I'm just going to finish this one because it was awesome. What a way to finish the season. And I'm going to talk about the United Church of Bacon while I drink a little beer. Some of you may be averse to alcohol in the um, bacon community, and I apologize for that. Some of you may be uh, averse to bacon in the alcohol community, and again, I apologize. For those of you that are uh, fans of both or able to consume both, uh, mazel tov, as they say. Um, so let's get right to it. I have already selected a few places that we need to visit. So first of all, of course, we go to the king of all social media, Facebook, and <clears throat> I don't want to go to the official uh, church, but I just did want to look at how you may notice there is the United Church of Bacon Benelux. I don't know what that is. I think that's German that's in that. 179 followers there. This is the official one, 19,000 followers. And then there's United Church of Bacon Broken Hill. Uh, Unorthodox Church believes in bacon. So some people have claimed to f have founded, and it may just be as a joke. They're like, hey, look, I founded a church. This one looks, um, I'm not sure what language that is, but there's another United Church of Bacon there. So I went down here. There's some cool photos, some fun photos. These are, um, I haven't looked through these. It's just people stopping and getting pictures AmericanAtheist.org. That's not the Church of Bacon. I don't know why that's on there. Church of Bacon people. There are a few atheists in there. There's Penn. Penn and Teller. That's funny. How do you scroll through these? Can you scroll through these? Penn is a... Uh, Penn Gillette is a, an ordained minister in the church. He's actually on there twice. All right. I guess we don't get to go through them. That's John right there. Looks like getting the first run of T-shirts. I have one of these T-shirts somewhere. I should get another one. John Whiteside is the founder of the United Church of Bacon. It was, um, see, there's Penn. If you look on the Nevada Secretary of State website, they will show you who can perform weddings in the state of Nevada. If you're getting a wedding in Nevada, make sure and look up your officiant and make sure that they're good they're licensed so you don't own any nonsense but Penn uh, Gillette is the United Church of Bacon and then here you have uh, Jeffrey Civilico he's a juggler magician entertainer here in Las Vegas I believe uh, you also have me Christopher Dyer I am a doesn't say permanent type long term huh that's weird I am uh what is the difference between long-term and permanent? Anyway, Penn's permanent. Somebody named Tony Pacini, Frank Platko, Sutter Strimmel, and John Whiteside. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's contingent on me being a good boy, which I am. I can still perform marriages. I have to look into that. Why I'm a long-term and not a permanent. If you want to become a, an ordained minister, if your neighborhood or... Um, locality requires you to be a member of a church. The uh, United Church of Bacon is an official church. It's registered as a non-profit. Non -non -non it actually pays taxes. Uh, unfortunately, if you're going into this to make money doing weddings, that's not part of the church tenants. You can't do that. We do them for free. So if you ever want to do a wedding in Las Vegas and you see me, and you hit me up, I can perform your wedding and I'll have to do it for free. And I'd be happy to. 
just for the experience of doing it and being a part of your special day. I have some suggestions on some really cool places for free weddings. If you're really trying to keep it on the cheap, like beautiful views where, I mean, you know, it's a small group of people. Nobody would even notice, right? Just you, your betrothed, uh, a minister, and a few family members just out for a, out for a walk. Just, you know, or out for dinner. Whatever. Hit me up. We can, we, can, we can work with something. I'm not trying to make any profit off of it. I just like to help somebody have a nice uh, economical wedding and just start their lives off without having that kind of debt. There's, there's special things you can do if the minister is willing to, you know, go. I'm not jumping out of a plane with you or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, I'm not trying to make any money off of it. So there's no arrangement. There's no prearrangement. If we showed up at the restaurant at the Eiffel Tower and I... Dipped in for breakfast. I mean, not breakfast. Uh, uh, dessert, and uh, performed a little wedding ceremony at the table. Who's to know? You know. So, uh, yeah, I I don't know if John would approve of that. My, my it seems like my membership in the uh, or my 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 job as an officiant is is contingent on me being good. So I hope I didn't put out any information that's not good. But if you go to the United Church of Bacon website, you too can become ordained. And you talk to John, he can hook you up with a letter if you need a letter or whatever. We, they can they can get it. So if your place needs, oh, you know, you got to be affiliated with a church. Oh, yeah, it's my church. Here's a letter from my church. That that can all be handled, I think, still. So, uh, you know, uh, praise the Lord, I guess, all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching. And hopefully this will be a regular thing here on the Podcast Producers Guild. Just so you know, Podcast Producers Guild puts out a whole bunch of podcasts. I host them all. Um, later this evening, the United States Integrity Project, also Nevada Integrity Project, will be on at 9 p.m. It's regular time. Go to watchtheshow.us to watch it. Go to jointheshow.us if you just want to take over or you know come in and chime in. It's yours. You can have it. Uh, at 10 p.m. every Saturday, that's 0600 Greenwich Mean Time. For you international viewers and international joiners, watch the show.us at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Join the show.us will bring you into the show tonight on the PAA podcast, podcast, the flagship show of the Podcast Producers Guild. We are supposed to have Scott Pressler. I'm actually going to reach out to him right now and just remind him. Um, but if you are ever prone to join the show, tonight would be the time to do it. Because uh, Hopefully Scott will be joining us and we'll be doing a little interview with him and uh, he may want to hang out. And if he wants to hang out and nobody's really ever called in before, like uh, Abdullah Khan hasn't called in in a while, but he's calling from Pakistan and a few other people. But if you feel like you need to get in the mix with Scott Pressler, tonight is the night um, because I'm going to be hitting him up just in a little bit and telling him we got that Ron DeSantis event at 3.30 down at Stoney's. And then it's just a night of live streaming and podcasting. I'm on spring break, so y'all are in trouble uh, this week coming up. I'm going to be very productive. It's going to be a productive eight days now. I don't, I, don't go to, I don't go to Cabo. You know what I'm saying? I stay right here at Wabo in this, in this studio. And Cranko Contento. So be ready. It's going to be a long-ass week. I might be watching Shapiro all week. I'm getting off in the weeds. we got a lot going on, and i got a week to mess with it. I might never go back to teaching. If somehow I, may, I found a way to make money doing this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love those kids. I want them to do well. I'd finish up the school year, and then I'd bail. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching. Check out the other shows. That's it. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Run the thing. Yeah.